Gotta show the handles. What's going on guys? So today we're in metatherapy. It's a rehab clinic right next to Bulldog. We're gonna be hitting the chest workout and then we're gonna grab some burgers at Big Boys. So let's get to it. First workout we're gonna do is incline dumbbell press. So I usually like to start off with like a lower weight just to warm up, and then we're gonna start off with three sets, um, usually 12 reps, and I'll work my way up to the heaviest weight. I used to do flat back in the day, but I noticed that you don't really see the upper chest. So yeah, I like to start off with incline just because when you're targeting your chest, the first thing you're gonna see is your upper chest. I'm taking right now is uh, the all max amino code. Let's go for the big boys. first or flat, whatever I'm feeling. I usually get better range of motion and contractions when I'm hitting the dumbbell press. So I like starting with like dumbbell press usually first. So with dumbbell press, you just trying to really push the weight, make sure that you're feet is fully planted so you can drive from your feet as well. I find that really helps with pushing the weight. I also notice a lot of guys when they're pushing the weight for the dumbbells, they don't squeeze at the top. So you want to make sure when you're going all the way down, come up and really squeeze at the top, get that contraction for that chest. It's going to make a huge difference in like the chest development as well. Yo, what are you feeling from Big Boys? Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak? Yo, they even have a Philly cheesesteak uh, burger. Yeah, I heard their poutine's pretty good. Right, we got to earn our cheat meal. That way I have better energy to push and stuff like that. And then on the days that are like lower taxing, like arms or something like shoulders, I'll keep the carbs a little bit lower. On the days that I'm able to add on the extra carbs, I get way better energy, way better pumps in the gym. So I like the carb cycle. Uh, 
uh, incline dumbbell flies. This is an exercise that you don't gotta go crazy heavy. You just use 35s. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're getting the full range. So when you're coming down, you wanna make sure you get the full stretch. Stretch out the chest and then come back down. This is a great finisher exercise for a chest workout. <sighs> If you guys haven't been to Metatherapy, make sure you guys go check them out for rehab. They also got a personal training clinic as well. This is the gym. They got roll machines, they got everything here. So make sure you guys go check them out. Okay, so we ordered the big boy burger. This is a half pound with cheese, steak sauce, got the fries, poutine, and the Philly cheese steak. Perfect. Let's try it out. It's gonna be messy. No, it's not bad. It's pretty good, but this ain't no fresh burger, you know? Yo, look at this burger poutine. Yo, it's beef. Crazy. It's beef, french fries. It's got bacon. bacon. That's a big boy poutine right there. Yo, how many calories do you think that is? Yo, all this food, 100% this is like 5,000 calories. Philly cheesesteak, look at that. Grab the die cool because you know we, we got to drink calorie free. Okay, let's try the fries. Yo, these fries are actually bomb. They're fresh cut fries too. Yo, try the Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so we just finished at Big Boys. I would rate that a solid Seven. It wasn't a bad burger, but the fries, yeah, the fries were bust. Other than that, I would definitely go to Fresh Burger for my next burger. So that's it for today's video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you soon.